They say, whoever they are, the future is just around the corner. Well, no, the future is already here. And these cool new inventions are here to prove it. Who knows? They might just help save you as well as the planet. Now this robot is unstoppable. And don't worry, it's not going to take over the world or anything. Probably. The thing you are looking at is called a Vine robot. What distinguishes it from other soft robots is that it's super tenacious when it comes to making it through difficult terrains and tight spaces, which makes it appropriate for missions like search and rescue. The idea for this device actually came from real vines. The inventors were inspired by how a vine moves and grows, so they started thinking about ways they could replicate the same movement robotically. Eventually, they came up with a simple and elegant design that doesn't require any expensive materials. All they needed was some airtight tubing. Remember the water wiggle toys? I do. The mechanism of their soft robot acts just like that. Then, to make it grow out from the tip, they use compressed air. And just like that, the basics of their invention were ready. It's so easy that you can build one yourself in as little as a minute. Aside from being easy to replicate, their design comes with other advantages as well. It can enter gaps one-fourth of its original size. Sticky surfaces and sharp objects don't really affect it as long as the air pressure is continued to be applied. The inventors, of course, have upgraded their design and created different versions so that the robot will be able to perform various tasks. For example, they added a camera to the robot's tip which made it ideal for things like archaeology. And the robot was even taken to the Andes Mountains of Peru to investigate some very narrow shafts underneath an archaeological site and was able to explore three of the tunnels successfully. However, the use of vine robots will not be limited to underground. It might be possible to use them for space exploration as well. When blown into something like sand, compressed air fluidizes. In return, this allows the vine robot to burrow into granular materials. So, NASA can use it to study the surfaces of other planets. But it has one more application. A miniature version of vine robots can potentially be used for medical procedures, such as intubation too, making the process faster and easier. Talk about being multifunctional. Can you think of anything else it can be used for? Now, these capsules are not for swallowing. Tiny houses and van life have been the hype for quite some time now. But vans require gas, and tiny houses require some sort of infrastructure. Eco-capsules, on the other hand, require mm, nothing. These egg-shaped micro-units are 100% self-sustainable living pods that give you the freedom to place them wherever you like and to live off-grid without causing any harm to nature. If all non-renewable energy sources were to end today, you could still be able to live the life you're used to in the eco-capsules for up to several months. So no need to go all survivor mode immediately. Eco-capsules can also be used as scientific research stations or even remote hotel rooms. They are 88 square feet and are equipped with a smart home system. They come with sleeping space for two, a kitchenette, shower and toilet, storage space, and even electrical outlets. They create their own electricity using a combination of a wind turbine up on a telescopic pole and a roof that is lined with solar panels. Their unique shape allows them to collect rainwater. The rainwater that falls on their surface is gathered in their tanks where it is then filtered and becomes ready for use. In case there are no rainfalls for a while, the tanks can still be filled from any water source, such as a lake or a river. And in terms of drinking water, additional filters are installed directly on the faucets. The greatest thing about eco-capsules is that they have almost zero emissions and zero ecological footprint. So every eco-capsule inhabitant will basically be taking part in saving the world while they're living in it. Mmm, this magnetic slime robot may look disgusting and frightening, but it definitely is game-changing. 
The blob-like robot is made of a water-soluble synthetic polymer, borax, and magnet particles. It is a non-Newtonian fluid that has viscoelastic properties, which means it can act both as a liquid and a solid depending on the level of pressure that's being applied to it. Accordingly, when you touch it quickly, it acts as if it's solid, and when you touch it gently and slowly, it acts as if it's a liquid. Hey, turn the pressure on me and I melt into a puddle. So I'm familiar with this. The tiny particles of magnets within the slime give it the unique ability to move. They can be controlled to make the robot travel, rotate, or form different shapes, such as a C or an O. There's no limit to which direction it can move, and from the looks of it, nothing can stop it from going. It can navigate passages that are as tiny as six hundredths of an inch, move around objects, and reach speeds of 1.2 inches per second. What's even more groundbreaking is that it can stretch seven times up to its original length, grab onto multiple things simultaneously, and even extend tentacles in different directions. It's shown to be able to conduct electricity and pull wires together, which gives it the capacity to switch and repair circuits. In the future, the creators of the slime hope that it can be used for medical procedures, such as retrieving objects from the digestive system that are swallowed by accident. Sorry, I can't help myself. In addition, if the swallowed object is something toxic, like a small battery, the slime can also hypothetically be used to wrap around it and prevent toxic electrolytes from leaking out into the body. However, the magnetic particles inside the slime are actually toxic themselves. But the researchers have coated them with silica to make the robot safe for this hypothetical application. The coolest thing about the slime robot is the fact that it is self-healing. That means it can bring itself back together even if it is chopped apart, without the help of external sources. And it can maintain its electrical capabilities after healing, too. These all sound like some science fiction stuff, but you can relax since the slime is not sentient, at least for now. This is the transparency we all need. When you think of solar panels, you immediately picture large black squares that are mounted on rooftops, right? Well, transparent solar panels are here to change that. Solar panels create energy by absorbing sunlight and converting it into electricity. If the material they are made of is transparent, that means the light will completely pass through them. Accordingly, a transparent solar panel used to be something of a contradictory idea. However, in 2014, scientists from Michigan State University were able to come up with a solution to this contradiction and develop a fully transparent luminescent solar collector that can turn any glass sheet or window into a solar cell. These transparent solar concentrators are composed of clear organic salts. They capture the wavelengths of the solar spectrum that are not visible to the human eye, like the ultraviolet and infrared while allowing the normal visible light to pass through. These captured wavelengths are then guided to the edges of the cell, where thin strips of conventional solar cells convert them into electricity. The researchers are hoping to make solar energy affordable, therefore widespread. So much so that they are also looking into using transparent solar cells as screens for smartphones or tablets. No more rushing to the charger once you see the 1% on the battery symbol. It's expected that the transparent solar cells will be able to deliver a 10% efficiency once mass production begins. This doesn't appear to be much, but if these panels can be implemented on every window of every home or office building, imagine. They can, for sure, help to change the future. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.